asking Kelsey. Are you planning to go there? I wish, Professor. Actually, there was this extra class in school where they talked about all the beautiful cities of the world. And for me, Rome stood out the best. The Colo... Colo... Colosseum, Kelsey. Yes, Colosseum and the Vatican. They are so beautiful. Well, indeed they are. But you know, besides a taste in art, the Romans also had a knack for mathematics. Mathematics? How? Well, they developed their own number system, which is used worldwide till date. It's called the Roman number system. Do we use them, Professor? Being curious to know is a good thing, my dear Kelsey. But first, I would like all our little friends watching us to get involved too. Hey there! Welcome to Math for Juniors. I am Professor Total Singh and this is my assistant Kelsey. Kids, we are all well versed with writing numbers, aren't we? But have you ever seen numbers being written using English alphabets? Numbers written with English alphabets? Yes! And I am sure you must have seen them around. I will let Mathemagic tell you where and teach you about these Roman numerals. Nalini is fascinated by the different clocks kept in the museum. Most of these ancient timepieces had familiar symbols. She has seen similar symbols outside her classroom in school timetable and even at some sports events like 21st Winter Olympics. Let's explore these symbols in this module where we study about Roman numerals and their origin and learn rules to write Roman numerals corresponding to big numbers. Roman numerals were developed in Europe during Roman Empire. In our number system, we use 10 distinct symbols. The digits 0 to 9 to write any number, no matter how large it is. These 7 symbols are English alphabets as shown. In fact, there is no Roman symbol for 0. It is believed that the Roman numbers originated from symbols of the hand. I stands for the number 1 as shown by a finger. The Roman numeral V stands for the number 5 which was derived from an outstretched hand. The X symbol stands for 10 which was conceived by looking at the hands crossing over each other. Smart Nalini matches the symbols on the museum clock by her wristwatch. By comparing the numbers with the symbols, she could figure out Roman numbers 1 to 12. So far, so good. Counting till 12 seemed simple. What next? Nalini's Roman friend has gifted a book on Roman numerals to her. The cover page has seven basic symbols for Roman numerals. 1, 5, 10, 50, 100, 500 and 1000. Indeed, Romans thought of very interesting way to use English alphabets as numbers. Is there any pattern to write the Roman numerals? The Roman book explains the five rules for writing Roman numerals. Firstly, a repeated symbol adds value that many times as it occurs. Like XX is 20 and XXX gives 30. Repeating is never done more than three times. There is nothing as XXXX. Also, the symbols V, L and D are never repeated. Secondly, if a symbol of smaller value is written to the right of a symbol of greater value, its value gets added to the value of greater symbol. 
like VI is 6 and XI is 11. Thirdly, whereas if a symbol of smaller value is written to the left of a symbol of greater value, its value is subtracted from the value of the greater symbol. Like IV is 4. Fourthly, the symbols V, L and D are never written to the left of a symbol of greater value. They are always written to the right of a symbol of greater value. Fifthly, the symbol I can be subtracted from V and X only. The symbol X can be subtracted from L, M and C only. I remember now. My classroom now reads VIP. That's Roman number for six. Right, Professor? Absolutely. But why do we use these Roman numbers, Professor? We are not in Rome. Well, that's because the Romans were so mathematically advanced that they were the first to come up with a number system. Gradually, other number systems were developed but I guess with Latin being the language of scholars, it still stayed on. Latin? I thought we were talking about Roman numbers. Latin is the language used by the Romans, Kelsey. Anyhow, kids, now that we know the basic rules of Roman numerals, you think we can write numbers in Roman by ourselves? You bet, Professor. All right then. Let's see if Nalini can join us too. Nalini seems to have mastered the rules to write any number using Roman numeral. Let's see. Number 94. 94 can be written as 90 plus 4 or 100 minus 10 plus 4. Which is XC. I V. Next, let's take the number 395. 395 can be written as 300 plus 90 plus 5 or 300 plus 100 minus 10 plus 5. Using the symbol of 100, 10 and 5, the equivalent Roman numeral of 395 is CCCXCV. So, a Roman number is expanded as addition or subtraction of tens, fifties, hundreds and so on. Well, I'll say Romans were smart. They just repeated symbols for smaller numbers like 1 and 2 and they simply created new symbols for larger numbers like 5, 10, 100 and so on. Yes, Professor, but I want to ask you one thing. You mentioned D and M earlier. I forgot what numbers do they represent. The number 500 is represented by the letter D and 1000 by the letter M. So D for 500 donuts and M for 1000 muffins. This I can remember. Hmm, if food makes you remember them, then you can think about food, Kelsey. Thank you, Professor. You are the only one who understands me. Now, moving on, Mathemagic has a brain teaser for us. Let's get cracking. So far, we have seen how to write the equivalent Roman numerals of Hindu Arabic numerals. Suppose we are given a Roman numeral like L, X, X, V, I. Then, what will be its equivalent Hindu-Arabic numeral? We know L is 50, X is 10, V is 5 and I is 1. So, VI is 5 plus 1, that is 6. So, L, X, X, V, I is 50 plus 10 plus 10 plus 6 or 76. Thus, the equivalent Hindu-Arabic numeral is 76. Hey, Professor! Guess what I know? 2011 can't be written as MMXI, 
right? Bullseye, Kelsey. I knew it. La 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 la. Okay, okay, there, Mister. There's a lot more about Roman numerals that is yet to reach your ears. Do you know? The exact source of origin of Roman numerals were sticks. Surprised? But that's true. Sticks or notches used by Italian and Dalmatian shepherds were used to derive the symbols. The I in say VI descends not from the letter I, but from a notch scored across the stick. Every fifth notch was double cut, like the ones shown here. and every tenth was cross cut like this much like european tally marks today when the tallies were transferred to writing the marks formed the existing roman letters i v and x professor i like the roman's way of writing numbers <laughs> i too like it well Right now, Math Magic is eager to please us with a quick recap. Shall we? Sure, Professor. In this module, we have learnt the following: Roman numeral uses about seven basic symbols to write various numbers. There are five basic rules for writing the Roman numerals. I for ice cream. V for. Um... What are you doing, Kelsey? Shortcut for remembering the Roman numerals, Professor. Hmm, should have guessed. Anyway, kids, it's time to say goodbye now. I hope you all enjoyed the show as much as we did. Till we meet again, you all take care and be good.